Hi everyone, I'm attorney Ayhan Ahmed. Today I would like to discuss with you returning resident visa for the legal permanent residents. Permanent resident or conditional resident alien who has remained outside the United States for more than one year or beyond the validity period of their re-entry permit will require a new immigrant visa to enter the United States and resume their permanent residence. A provision exists under the U.S. visa law for the issues of a returning uh, resident special immigrant visa, which is called SP-1, to an LPR, legal permanent residence, who remain outside the United States more than one year due to circumstances beyond his or her control. When your application for returning resident status is approved, you will receive a visa that will allow you to enter the United States. To approval of the returning resident application is only the first step into two-step process. It only eliminates the requirement that an immigrant visa petition be filed on your behalf with the Department of Homeland Security, uh, USCIS. You will need to be then interviewed for both your application for the returning resident status and at a later date for the actual immigrant visa. An SP-1 applicant is required to establish eligibility for an immigrant visa, which includes the payment of the immigrant visa fees, a medical examination, and numerous documentary requirements if needed, administrative processing might be required. So, but I would like to also you to note, approval rate of the initial SP-1 application is usually low. The majority of applicants fail to present convincing evidence that their prolonged absence of over 365 days was caused by reason beyond their control. If applicants have the option of filing a new petition with the UICIS, they should explore that road before applying for an SPV-1. To qualify for the returning resident status, the person need to prove the consular officers that, you know, the person had the status of lawful permanent resident at the time of departure from the U.S. Departed from the U.S. with the intention of returning and have not abandoned this intention and are returning to U.S. after a temporary visit abroad and if the stay abroad was prolonged, this was caused by the reason beyond that person control which he or she were not responsible. So if you have any questions regarding returning visa applicants or applications, feel free to call our office at 212-245-7070 or shoot us an email at info at Thank you so much.